Hey guys, this is Neil again. Today I wanted to show you a little bit about how you can quickly configure map layers, turn them on and off with just a click of a button. Uh, this is using Iron Python. So in this demo that I'm showing you right now, this simple routing demo where I have this street level view on a map. Um, I can zoom in, I can see down to each individual house number, down to the individual blocks. Um, but I also have uh, some satellite layers that I want to show. Now when I turn on the satellite layer, I'm using a tile map service. Uh, we have a separate video that shows where you can get these layers. So make sure you check that out if this is new to you. Um, but I have this uh, satellite image and this one, um, it doesn't really have any labels on it. So I added some roads and labels to this, uh, but they're separate layers. I don't think my user is gonna know oh, which layers to turn on and off and which different conditions. And then looks like this other map here in the top right is um, that one's not changing either. So they would have to configure all of this with a bunch of clicks, not very fun. So um, I created these Iron Python scripts where I can hit this button and you'll see as I hit the buttons, the map change, uh, the layers change, but you also can see the different configurations turn on and off. So when I hit live traffic, that turns on live traffic, turns off everything else. When I hit satellite, that turns on satellite and all the labels and borders that I need. So how do I do this? Well, first thing I'm going to show you is on the Tibgo community, we have this Iron Python scripting page with all kinds of cool shortcuts. Uh, you don't necessarily need to know Iron Python. Uh, you can just copy and paste a lot of this stuff in to get going. So uh, the script I created, I, I went ahead and added it to this long page of all of these examples. It's called a toggle map layer visibility. And this is the script that I'm going to use. So you could copy and paste this in. Now, I'm in Spotfire 10.4, and starting in Spotfire 10.3, uh, the scripting for uh, Iron Python was moved. It used to be in Document Properties, but now you can find it in Manage Trust and Scripts. And so when you come here, you can hit New and hit a new Iron Python script. Um, I've already created these. I'm just going to walk through and show them to you. Uh, all right, so this script, let me expand this a little bit. Okay. So what I did is I imported these namespaces. You can just, again, copy and paste this in. Um, and I need to create two map parameters, two, bit, two script parameters that I'm going to assign to each map. So I have map one and map two. And these are basically going to do the same thing, but on different charts. So what this does is it looks and says for each layer in map one, the map one chart and the layers, um, the layers properties of map one, it's going to look for the layer title, if that layer title is satellite, route, borders, labels, um, any of these that I want to keep on that I have labeled here, it's going to just look for those. And if, it's, if it matches any of those, it's going to say the layer is enabled. If it doesn't match one of those, it'll say false. Now, I just copy and pasted this, but then I did it for map two below. Um, and I did the same thing. So next thing after you have a script is you want to create a button or a link. So um, let me just go ahead and close this text area. I'll create a new one from scratch so you can see. So I'm going to grab a text area. I'm just going to drop it right here. Um, I'm going to turn off the title bar. So let's just look at just this text area. And I'm going to edit text area. And I'm going to say uh, satellite. Well, let's say, yeah, let's say satellite. OK, so I just typed in satellite. I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to hit insert action control. Now, this will create a button called satellite, or it can change this to a link, or if I have an image, then I want to make a kind of a, a cool looking image as a button, I can use that as well. So I'll hit link here, and um, I'm going to run my script, show satellite, and here I'm going to set these map parameters. So this one chart is on the routing tool page, and it's called my overview map. And this other chart is map two over here, and that's called my turn by turn map. Uh, so I have assigned map one and map two script parameters, and I'll hit OK. And let's save this. And I just have a little button here. It's not styled or anything, but I, I have this uh, link here. Sorry, not a button. So when I hit this, it'll run that script. So let's go ahead and let's turn off satellite. Let's turn on live traffic. Let's go ahead and configure this how I, uh, how I had it. Now I'm going to hit satellite, and it's going to change that map. It actually changes it for both maps. So um, another quick way to see this is, let's see, uh, street view or street level. And um, let me put a little, little separator there. 
And let's assign this also a script, but let's say street detail. Uh, again, let's assign these to route overview map and this one to turn by turn map. Okay. Hit save. All right. So this one I didn't change it to a link. I left it as a button, but same thing. Um, so I have street level. I hit that. It's going to change both of them. Satellite, hit that. It's going to change both of them. So that's it for today's uh, quick tip, and uh, join us next time. Thanks.